Word, I can't wait to grow soon, bro. The hype that New York is legal now. Growing is gonna become like people people are gonna try to do that, like like all over the place. Yeah, you're gonna see people with plants in their backyards. Um like window sill grows. Yeah, you're gonna see people with lights in their you're gonna see lights through people's windows, you're gonna see a lot of people with vents coming up for the circulation, you know. Facts. The carbon filters and shit. You're gonna be seeing a lot of shit. Um, you might even see tents through people's windows. Can't see through their crib anymore because you see a black tent, but you know what the fuck that is. It's a drying tent. All right. That yeah, effect. So, yeah, I definitely think it's growing. Self growing is gonna become a lot more popular. But then, I also believe that. What do you think that does, is gonna do to the market though? It's gonna hold up, like, straight was, up make it exotic versus. Yeah, I was lows. I was about to say. The market could boom, like the gray market, because the, the the growers in the gray market, they're already growing amazing stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So say like the average person wants to try to do that same thing because they got a seed from their last pack. Yeah, right? facts. They try to grow it. It's the same weed. I ain't even gonna lie. And then it comes out looking garbage, and then it tastes and smells completely different. Yeah. And then they're going to go back. And buy a crap load more trying to find more seeds. Not realizing, oh, I'm just helping flood the market again. Mm-hmm. With the shit that was here before because now the self-grow isn't going out. Because the self-grows aren't as good because those people didn't do the homework. Didn't take over a year to learn how to grow. I was going to say, like, you could do your homework, but like, at the end of the day, if, if you don't got the materials and the space, and, you know, yeah, the budget to grow like quality like high quality bud you you're not going to get up that far like right. you can you can get good bud just by putting it in and because a people... pot letting it sit outside and water it and take care of it every day i'm not saying you can't get good bud like that you can definitely get good bud but like if, and because people if you sit in an indoor john and it has a filtration system and it's doing this and it runs the nutrients automatic and all this and you have money for that and you, you could have a little version of that at your crib you're gonna be making better bud, bud than your neighbor who's got it outside right getting rained on every other day that's the other thing like water control and, and light control like people who are gonna be able to indoor and manipulate it like, and humidity also humidity keeps the the moisture and consistency of the bud perfect. true 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 it's like a natural moisture pack and people are gonna just start putting plants outside not knowing that the outdoor cycle has a specific date that you need to go on yeah that's the thing about specific date. outdoor too you can't just start on your own cycle you have to follow the outdoor cycle and follow where you live what the grow and harvest cycle. season it's right. like any other plant right you need <laughs> to find your time of the year for where you live you feel me? How, how do you? Uh, that's one question. Because people I in New York about. are gonna start growing different than people in California. How do you feel about like? It, would you think it'd be easier for someone who has a farming background to pick it up? Yeah, right like, away. Mad easy. If they already grow, not weed. Like if they grow. Wait, I got a wheat farm. Perfect. That's what I was about to say. Like if you grow anything, like say people just grow hey. like lettuce and yeah. tomatoes and just have a bunch of little little things that they eat. Like people that grow their own vegetables and shit. I'm hop on fire. it, I please. Please hop on be it because, that. because that, you just only benefit yourself. Because that's the another reason why I want to start growing my own stuff organically. Because people that follow an organic diet, it doesn't have to be an organic diet. If you want to just live a healthy style and you eat the right things, man, that's how you know the bug good, bro. This man is sticky all over the finger. Yeah, bro. I think like there's not a grinder right there too. But if you're trying to live a healthy lifestyle and you're just gonna eat edibles instead of smoking the bud that you put in your butter oh bro. has bad nutrients it has mad pesticides i don't even like smoking shit that like so it's not so tastes like weed you know what i mean right like when it goes from tasting like good weed like oh this is good weed like it has flavor you can taste the terps going where it's like oh Ooh, it's just a burn. Yeah. You feel me? It's just like, damn. Yeah. I don't even like that no more. Yeah, so... I feel like... I don't know, man. 
I don't know. Do you think the West Coast will stay ahead of the East? Well, obviously it will because it started first. But do you think they'll be able to come in and, like, essentially conquer the East if they uh, open up, uh, what is it, interstate commerce for weed? It's like a big brother, little brother type deal. Because all the cats from the East Coast, like all the rappers, yeah, have West Coast. Coast I was about to say. They already started out on the West Coast. So now when they come over, now they're going to be the big brother over here. But the thing is... And they're going to regulate it. As of they, right now, you have to completely like restart over here. Think about here. it. Everybody... Because you can't send a bud over legally right? from Cali to New York. So think about it. Everybody in the rap game right now... Well, not everybody, but most people in the rap game, when they want to start growing their stuff... So like burn, they go, to, they go to burn and get their genetics. Oh yeah, yeah, and then they find all right, burn. Where is the best place that I should go to grow my shit? He always usually recommends the Bay Area. That's his favorite place to grow. I right. know that. Like, like right here. Burner helped Dave East set up his whole grow op because they grew up relationship where Dave East trusts his company and he saw what he's done over the last few years and how he's just taken over. And it was like, right, bro, let's like, do. Werner has a plan to take over Europe. Bro. Yeah, he was like, yo, show me, show me what to do. And now, now Davies has East Company, and obviously it's gonna come out to the East fucking coast. So when that time comes, I feel like now the West Coast isn't gonna like dominate too much because I feel like all the East Coast guys already have their feet in that West Coast water. They already know what to do, how to say no to certain deals you know what i mean yeah facts. and i feel like the one thing i, I, I feel I like they, they probably they'll probably respect and like not push as hard because they'll be like yo it's your time now we've been doing this for 15 20 years let's see how you could do it shit it'd probably be easier just to work with you to take you over one thing i gotta give burn credit though is he probably has the best like branches like if you consider east entire company a branch of like cookies essentially not cookies but burners like work bro mad branches bro like mad branches bro ridiculous not you... only on top cookies has rappers own strains mm -hmm. and then they end up making their own spinoff shit with them. yeah their own spinoff company if y'all don't know burner's story and his company and companies that, yeah like i would recommend you dive deep because people really only chalk it up to cookies bro it's not just cookies it's cookies lemonade and batik yeah and cookies is like and he had the... and he started exotics company with jungle boys but they don't push that as much anymore oh uh, I, I, yeah i don't even so that was that, that was that, exactly so fucking that, they were they had a whole exotics company and where they just collabed and they just crossed shit and they were just like bro this is crazy or exotics you feel me what's what's boutiques game because i know people be confused with this cookies isn't supposed to get like it gets you the highest because it's the best quality grow in the game but it's not that's not their aim their aim is to bring the most like tasty like flavorful buds yeah that's why like gelati is so good mm -hmm. shit like that but then lemonade is that same aim but a sativa based menu yeah and he tries to throw more like the citrus flavor in, in the lemonade yeah, yeah, yeah so the lemonade it tastes more fruitful than the others because the other stuff it tastes great and has different flavors but then with the lemonade stuff it's more of like a earthy fruit type type vibe facts facts so yeah you could that's why you like, think is boutique like more indica based or you think or not it could be I'm not i'm not 100 percent. their know. buds be way more purple yeah and i don't always mean an indica but yeah it's a strong sign yeah it can be a strong sign especially if we on the east <laughs> You know, if people in the East still think orange means it's sour diesel, bro. <laughs> they don't mean it's only sour diesel, bro. Yeah, people don't understand that if you got Ooh. white hairs and purple and orange and green, it makes it good. You don't need just orange hairs on your shit. If there's really a lot of white hair, like, grab it under any color of green, orange, or purple, would, it's fire. Grab it. Those are all the trichomes. Yeah, yo, you can, you can see it perfectly. Now... One question I also have is in the East, especially in New York, New York City, because I haven't seen anybody in Boston do it yet, or Maine, or any of the legal growth states so far. Do you think we're going to see any, like, real, like, like real, like, $60 eighth quality, like, sour diesel being produced? Like, some real powdery looking shit. Yeah. 
Like you, you know, you ever get the sour pack and it just goes like that. Because you could cross it with something and Ooh. not cross it as crazy. You know what I mean? You could do like a multiple. Keep it like 70. You can do a multiple. Like 80, 20. Right, because you can do a multiple cross that's sour, sour dominant. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it'll hit crazy and it'll look completely different. But that sour diesel. Like a, like, a, like a three times crazy, essentially, of sour diesel rather than indicus. Right, because you can find two strains that are crossed with sour diesel dominant and take a sour diesel, pollinate those plants with all those mothers and males. Bro, you come up with some crazy sour. Word? Yeah. Now, hold on. I have another question because, well, I mean, we've been looking at growing. That's not, I ain't even going to keep it a secret. I'm, I am want to grow. But Everybody over 21, you should. One thing we've been looking at is like the, in like a confined space, right? Uh, like like the cabinets that we've been looking at, right? Now you want to grow multiple strains in there. Now you let's say you get the two cabinets, right? Mm-hmm. And then you you put you can put two strains or you can put multiple strains in. You can and they'll multiple. grow into those strains, or they're gonna cross because they grow together in that little cabinet. They could cross. I would probably try to keep one in one, or do some that are similar. So if they do cross, it'll come out. Close. Like a good cross. Yeah. A strong cross. Yeah. Or you could even put them at opposite ends and like you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like if you want to try one like one strain, just grow one plant and keep the other five. So it's really about like the placement of like the roots and shit. Right. So if I place let's say we got two, right, in the same cabinet, we go half. Like these might cross in the middle a little bit. Or maybe even a lot. But like these ones out here aren't really. It just depends touch. on the, the male or female. Because if you were trying to get across, like, you, you'd want to do, like, if we were doing, if we had 12 plants and we were doing three rows of four, like, you'd want to go, like, boom, one, A, B, A, B type shit, right? Yeah. Or, like, yeah. some sort of, like, you know, A, like, A, B this way and A, B that way type Yeah, shit. type. Yeah, you would want to keep them close and, like, mix them in so they could grab all the pollen that goes off the different plants. But, yeah. And the stems be wrapped with each other, right, sometimes? Yeah, but that's it depends why you, where the light is. That, that's why you need the truss so they don't fold over because when they fold over it, like some of the Cause buds da- damage to the grow. No, well, yeah, I guess because some of the buds won't taste as good because they won't get as that's much what I'm light. Yeah, yeah, and then some like the stuff under like the or buds, damage to the outcome. Yeah, the buds that are tucked under other like other stems, those will grow smaller because obviously it gets less stuff. Because it's being hidden under, it's being protected, so it won't grab as much. That, it won't go grab all the stuff that it needs. That's why, I, if you don't have a truss net, your grow won't come out good at all. Because all your buds just hang over each other and all that. That's why the that shit keeps the stems, puts them all in their own line, so they when they grow up and you do your training, you could keep them all in their own training system. Now, if you wanted to grow outside, because I, I you you like to. Talk- like organic grows, it's the best way to grow. I, I definitely hear that, and it's like the safest, healthiest smoke. Right. Um, if you wanted to grow outside, though, I mean, inside you, you, you definitely face the, uh, like potential damage of uh pesticides and shit. not pesticides, uh, like bacterias and shit, right? Mm-hmm. But outside, you really need something to protect it, right? Like, how do you do that organically? They have a lot of organics, like any nutrient that you put on your plant, there's an organic one. Oh, word, word, word. So that's why, like, people that are just lazy don't use organic nutrients. Because they cost. It's like eating healthy. You got to find, you got to do the research to find which one is the best, and you have to pay a little bit more. Yeah, I mean. But that pays because your butter will come out better quality, and it'll taste better because it doesn't taste like you're like you spraying chemicals on your shit you're not facts and, and there's a lot of natural nutrients from earth that you could put in your bud that like it brings like natural fungus mm-hmm. that help plants grow that like because natural fungus grows out in regular soil right so if you put that stuff into your organic soil it just helps the roots grab more organic nutrients so yeah, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So yeah, you could take the you could bring the outdoors inside, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And you could bring the inside outdoors by bringing healthier stuff to the plant. Oh word word, 
Now, do you ever think, like, Bud should ever be over, like, 50, 60, and 80? I think 60 is like a 60 is 60 is uh, oh, that's that's good that's enough that's what I'm saying like I'd be actually seeing companies trying to charge 80 I'm like what do you do your butt ain't that good bro. I'm not paying 80 for an 80 Burner don't sell his shit for 80 it, it ain't 80 I don't care if you're not cookies if you're not jungle boys if you're not fucking backpack boys I ain't buying your shit super meds is valid too with the prices they be going like you they can, they float around the 50, 60 range. That's what I'm saying. Like, you don't need to go over because you know your shit is worth and you, if your shit is worth... And once you jump over, like, 70, 80 bucks in tax, like, you're jumping into a new, like, tax bracket, essentially. You feel me? Yeah. You go from that, like, okay, I'm paying 13 for a $6.8 to now 73 Now I'm paying, like, damn, I might be paying 15 20 on top. Now I'm paying, yeah. like, 100 yeah. or an 8 Yeah. I could get two grams of wax at that point. That's ridiculous. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you gotta pay a little bit on that, but that's yeah, that's a bit ridiculous. Those are your fifty-five and because tax. My the logic should be all right. If they're fifty and eighth, I could sell this amount of eighths and it makes this much money. But if you have them at eighty, you ain't gonna sell all of them. Mm-hmm. So now your your profit margin is supposed to be this, but you only sell this much, so you're making the same price that you did selling them at fifty. So it makes no fucking sense. Facts. You could get more off. That's that's how business works. Your business is better when you could sell more for a long run rather than selling a lot of shit real quick for expensive prices. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna capitalize because then in reality you long gotta money. pay you gotta pay a lot of more taxes that time, so you lose a lot more money than you would in the long run. You're long money over short money, bro. Right, you're paying a lot more taxes that year annually. Now, because all your shit is, you're making this much money. Oh, I make this much money a year, I'm balling. Great. With this new tax plan, you're going to be paying 40-something percent. Great, bro. Your taxes are doubling. You're only making half the profit margin now. That's another thing we should get into. This new Biden tax plan. 